That's too far. Over Revelation. We didn't talk too much. Romans. There it is, Romans. Galatians, 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. Here we go, Romans, okay. I'm getting some. Romans, 3.23 is what I got over. Book 3, Romans 3.23. Romans 3 and verse 23. Starting at verse 23, for all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. I always used to say, we all fall short of the glory of God, but through Christ Jesus we are once saved. Again, I'll read verse 23, for all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. Into my little comments here. Romans 3.23 We are not perfect, just like the sinner. Like it says, all have, not some have, but all have, what? Fallen short of the glory of God, but through Christ Jesus we are saved. So all have fallen short. That means not just the sinners, but us. We, as a people. We fell short of the glory of God. So why do we show respect? Because we, just as the sinners do, make just as much mistakes as sinners do. Why? Because we all fall short of the glory. It's not just some of us, not just the sinners, it's not just a few people over here, it's us as well. All fall short of the glory of God. But we curse Jesus, us as the body of Christ, is saved. So why do we show respect? To, uh, to, to other people because we make just as much mistakes as they do we all far short for God but the Christians will say second is Ephesians 4.32 <clears throat> Ephesians 4.32 let's go into Ephesians let's go to 4.32 I was just there actually Ephesians I actually like having the Bible like this. Uh, I can go live now and do all kinds of things. I just hope I don't forget this Bible once in a while. Ephesians 4, verse 32. Where is 32? 32. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. So, show respect, let me see what my comments say, for Ephesians 4.32, respect others, we respect others, why? Because God respected and forgave you. So, again, Ephesians 4.32 says, and I will read this again, keep, get these down, get these notes going on so you can go home and study these yourself. Ephesians 4, verse 32. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as what? Even as who? God. In who? In Christ. What? Forgave you. So, like I put in my comments, we respect others. Why? Because God respected and forgave others us as a body of believers. It's not a one-sided thing. It's not like we do everything and God does nothing. No. We have to do our part for God to do His part. So we respect others. Why? Because God respected us and forgave us. How? How did God respect us? Okay? So we, we respect others. Why? Because God respected and forgave these. How? Let's go to our third scripture, which is John 3.16, one of my absolute favorite verses. John, chapter 3, and we're going into verse 16. 
There's a lot of verses to chapter 3. Oh, wait, that's chapter 1 and 2. John 3. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. Okay? So, God loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him, us as the body of Christ, whoever believes in him, shall not perish, shall not die, shall not what, go to hell, shall not perish, but what? Have everlasting life. So, the question is, because in the previous one I said, in Ephesians 4.32, we respect others' lives as God respected and forgave us. How? It just says it in John 3, 16, by giving us his only son to die for us on the cross. So, God respected and forgave us how? How did God respect us? By giving us his only son to die on the cross for us as believers because we were we are what? As a pastor, we are all sinners in need of the Savior. So he gave his only son to die on the cross for us. That is true respect. When it comes to God giving up his son so he can die on the cross, that to me, to me and you, is true respect. So, so we must respect others. Why? Because God respected us. And again, why must we respect we must respect others? Why? Let's go to Luke 6.31. It's our last verse. Luke 6.31. So one more thing. Why should we respect others? Luke 6.31. Chapter 6,
what I got. Anyways, I'm not sure what I wrote down. I don't know why I wrote 613. What's the golden rule? Do unto others what you want done unto you. So, if you want others to respect you, golden rule, you must first respect what? Others. So you must respect others if you want them to respect you. So what have we learned? That we are not perfect, that all have fallen short, and for that reason, we must show respect to everyone, not only because of that, also because God respected us to give up his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross in our place. And if you want others to respect you, you must respect them first. Why? Because when you show respect, it shows God's love, God's deity, and God's mercy and grace. The question is why? Because how much more can your Heavenly Father respect you if you don't respect others? So your mission, and I know you will choose to accept it, is to show respect to everyone, even those who do wrong to you. On purpose, because God is respect. I totally forgot one sound effect in my whole actual show, and that's okay. I am going to do a re-recording of the show. I'm going to have to, to chop the message where it says, let's look at a few scriptures. And add that into the recording. I'm going to have to do a whole recording all over again at home, but that is okay. But let's pray. Lord, thank you for the message today. What went on today, you had uh, your way in this message, Lord. I am sorry, for guys, that I forgot to do the actual mission itself. But, uh... It's going to be a lot better when I do the actual recording. I'm just going to have to cut and splice a few things and go from there. I'm going to have to cut out the theme song. I'm going to have to add this to the thing, and then I'm going to have to... It's going to work out to be a better idea. But, Lord, we ask you to give everyone their heart's desires that sound of my voice that it would not be selfish. We thank you, Lord, for the message that went out consecrated to the tablets of our heart. Sorry that we forgot to pray beforehand. And we thank you, Lord, that you are having your way in today's message. We ask you, Lord, to have your way today, Lord, and to have your way with this podcast. Let this podcast continue to go, continue to rise, and continue to get your word out there. I ask you, Lord, there's a friend of mine asked.